we're gonna make a uh, little toy hunter, a little car boot sale kid out of this one, I think. Question is, does it have the main bit? How much do you have on these ones? All winter, all. Oh, what the plastic cases? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? So, <clears throat> morning, guys. Aaron here, Empire Toys One One Three Eight. It's early Sunday morning, uh, and we're about to go to the boot fair. Now, hopefully, this morning I want to hit three car boots up. I'm just working up now. I'm just getting a bit of a go-go juice on the go here, so we can have some power coffee. I've got a washer, Edward's bottles up as well, so he's got a bit of a. So we can have some milk for the journey. But yeah, hopefully three boot fairs. So I'm hoping for a very, very good toy haul today. So fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, enough of me talking. Let's get into the video. Let's get to the car boot sales. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you at the end for the haul. Enjoy. How much you got on these? That one is eight. That's 15. That's six. And then I've got a whole load of other Funko Pops, maybe another 50 or 60 to come out. Oh shit, how much? Huh? How much are you? Oh, Just... the small one's yeah. four. And then I've got album covers at six. That one, that particular one is eight. That's 24 on Amazon right now. Okay. So I bought 10 of those. It just happened to have a spare one. That was the one I was taking the photograph of. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I'd check it in. Yeah, I didn't really understand that. It's like uh It's like the back of the magazine at the back. Yeah, that's what they've done with the album covers. You've got yeah. the magazine and you've got... Uh, yeah, I've seen the album ones. You've seen the other ones. I've got... Uh, well, they'll all be out. I mean, I basically do Funko Pop. I buy and sell. So I, I grabbed the Hulk Hogan one. You might as well. You might as well. It's the and only then, one I've bought. Yeah. And that one's bound to go. You're at reselling or... Huh? Uh, bit of... Three for the lot. Thank you. What have you done that, bro? Ten. Ten. All right, cool, man. I think. What have you got on these? Okay. Yeah. Cool man, cheers. How much you got on these? That one's 10. Okay. I'm going to swap the place for that Nice little tune, got mate. I'm, I'm gonna ask him. Ask him on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a 
I'm going to get my science kits out of this. <laughs> what have you got on the Aquaman as well? You know, three quid for that. Yeah. You got any more stuff like that coming out? No, that's uh, most of that went down the B and uh, Q route. That's yeah, where they, that's where Eagle Moss shifted it to. Is it Eagle Moss a hero? Class, isn't it? Oh, did you do it for two? As I got the other bit? No. Make it a straight tenner? <laughs> not, not on that one though. No. no. <laughs> Try it. stuff you mostly resell then? You said toys and games? Yeah, so act basic action figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... The cases are worth more. Oh, what, the plastic cases? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? So... I can... I'm going to do it today because I'm going to sell them for... for oh, I'm going to only yeah. sell them for four here. You'd get more at a comic con, I think, I don't know. But these... They're, they're still becoming... I think because so many people have them now. Well, these... The, yeah, they, you've got to be careful What have you got them. on the Dengar? That can have four quid. How many do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I got a box in the front seat. Unless I've got a customer return, I think he's a customer return. Everything else is straight out of the box. Mm. I sat at a booth fair yesterday, shelling these. Yeah, I'm but taking the covers off. I used to have a um, a guy I met. How much you got on these? Um, I'd say five or each. Oh, thank. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. How much on your Rick? I'll do it for 12. Okay. Because it's spare arm and spare. Okay. That's yeah, cool. Just, yeah. Those bags sound as friends. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. No, I didn't have him then. <laughs> 
He was uh, five five weeks premature. No. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Uh, a week. So he was in hospital after after being born. He was in hospital for two weeks, one week in the incubator, and then one week just in the hospital. Uh, yeah, these, please. Nothing. Oh, it's not what you need. No, not what I need. Yeah. He is, uh, we're going to try one bit of baby food for the first time. Hello, mate. Hi, how are you doing? Little baby. The baby's here with us today. Uh, how old? Five months. Five months? Oh. Boy or girl? Oh, lovely. It's so your first one, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh. I bet you, does it keep you awake at night? Or? No, it's in oh, my Oh, that's cute. Yeah, we're really lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. It wasn't like that to start with, it was every two hours. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, but don't worry, they grow up so quickly. Yeah. Well, it feels like that already. Yeah, baby girl. Yeah, already 10 months. I don't know where it's gone. It's scary. It's a whole thing. What's he called? Ezra. Ezra. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice name. Did you have a busy pregnancy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was premature. Oh, was he? Really? Sorry, mate. How much? Yeah. How much? How much you have on these ones? Three pounds. How much you have on these ones? All winter. All some of them are nineteen sixty-six. I haven't seen you for because of the baby. Yeah, I didn't come last week and then we went to a couple of different ones this morning. Yeah. yeah. And then we were like, should we just pop in here on this nice weather? Get another walk in? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. so I haven't been here for about three weeks. Yeah, I haven't seen you usually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what was last week? It was away Sunday what, last week. Helping out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing your daddy bit. Yeah. You alright, mate? Hello there. You alright? Yeah, you? Yeah. Huh? I mustn't grumble. Question is, does it have the main bit? Nice. No, it's missing one bit. That's annoying. That's the hardest bit to find. But there's a bit that connects onto that bit there that he doesn't have. So we're back guys from the booze here. We went to three of them this morning and it was awesome. The weather is absolutely fantastic out there. So I cannot wait for later on to fire up the barbecue and get some food and a couple of beers later on. Guys, the boot fairs, it was amazing. It was hard work. Not only that guys, the car boots were still hard work. There was a lot of putting down, picking stuff up, people telling you prices and just putting it straight back down again. And also it was very difficult, especially the first car boot that we went to because, oh my God, there were so many people that you know, you just know that resell and stuff. So, you know, the competition was high, but so to find some stuff out there was absolutely amazing. And also I've already started seeing pictures going up on Facebook, on Toy Division Facebook group, Instagram of people's hauls. It has been a good morning morning all round for people hunting toys so it's awesome so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flip the camera around because it's gonna be easier and we will see what I found at the booth and here we go guys as you can see the table is absolutely full with stuff so uh, we'll start over with obviously the main bits here now I can't believe I've walked away from a car boot sale with not only a box dragon sword 
but I've got a box tiger sword as well. Now apparently the guy's been here to my booth fairs for the past couple of weeks now. I keep missing him, or the times I don't go that he turns up. Now uh, Grant the Absolute Legend has mentioned to this guy selling about me and how I would have uh, loved a few bits. So thank you for giving him the heads up because we had a great chat and hopefully more to come in the future. But we've got the Dragon Zord here, it's in great condition, it's got its plastic here. Uh, it is missing one bit, which is fine because I'm pretty sure I've got it in my spares. It's the little plastic bit that holds on, that connects to the staff that allows the Ultra Dragon Zord to pick it up. But it does have the tip in there, which is absolutely amazing because that's the bit that goes missing all the time. And then obviously here we've got the Tiger Zord. Again, it's missing one red orb, which I've got spares for, so I'm not too bothered about that. But look, it's got, got the coin. It's got the white ranger, uh, both the shields on these rangers are not broken which is amazing and it's just really really cool pieces. The guys had more stuff, I was actually tapped out first time in a very very long time I have spent all my money at the boot fair. Now uh, up here, this was from the first boot fair, see I didn't know how well it was going to go today so obviously I picked up a few Funko Pops especially with Guildford Comic Con coming up so we've got this cool Dengar one here, an exclusive. I thought this one was awesome. I love this one. This Hulk Hogan one here. So they've got the light shining on you there, guys. I'll try and move over here. But yeah, got this cool Hulk Hogan with the um, Sports Illustrated at the back. I thought that was awesome. And uh, throughout the morning, I found a few Stranger Things pops. Obviously, Stranger Things always popular with the pops. We got Eleven with Egos there, Erica and Steve. So that was. Awesome, love that. Uh, also from the same guy I bought the fun guys from. I've got this Aquaman Justice League Legend. So cool little find there. Uh, from the third booty, I've got these lovely Batman. So we've got the Arkham Asylum Batman figures here. We've got some Adam West Batman villains here, Joker and Penguin. So these were a lovely. Again, when I hit the third booty up, I thought this was probably what I was only gonna find. So I was super stoked with them. Also from the third booty was all these boglins, these PVC boglins. Again, I bought this literally from the first row as soon as I turned up. Now this was the lady, if you don't remember, I think maybe last year uh, that I bought these, all the minifigures from, who had the bag egg bunch hidden away inside the bag. It was the same lady. Uh, so she was super nice and uh, gave Ezra a free little car, which I think is from Paw Patrol. So thank you very much. Ezra is going to love that when he can start playing around with it. But yeah, we've got loads of Boglins. We've got this little trainer attachment for turtles. We've got more monsters here. We've got some trash bag bunch. A real nice uh, mix. Unfortunately, there was no glow in the dark Boglins. But we've got some of the mini Boglins, mini, mini Boglins in there. And some just cool designs. Awesome. So over here, these are for the Captain Planet, which was on the first boot fair, along out of a rummage box, along with this G.I. Joe. So happy with that. Unfortunately, their crotch is broken, but it is very hard to find G.I. Joe, especially at the car boot sale, that don't have broken crotches. This G.I. Joe was found at the second boot fair in a rummage box. Super happy with that. Literally, this guy's called Grunt. He's really cool. Nice figure there. So to find a couple of Joes at the boot fair, happy with that. Uh, this again, third boot fair. I just saw it on the side. Unfortunately, I've got to give it a go. It's one of these just little random picture companies, but it's got Donatello on it. So for and it's got mutant hero turtles. So any turtle collectors, it will look nice on the shelf. Uh, Han Solo, first boot fair. Just saw him sitting chilling on the person's stool. Just lay there, and they did me a little deal on that. So stoked on that. Again, second boot fair find. Just this uh. Lost Galaxy, Megazord, again with the second boot fair, I was like, oh, I sort of just saw it just laying there and I thought I'll give it a go, because I'm, I'm pretty sure someone had a sword for this, it was trying to offer me that and some spares, so if I can remember who that was, get that swapped around and uh, add a sword to it, which make it a little bit more appealing. Uh, this is cool, this is the Wreck Bus from WWF, all these parts come off, it's missing the door and it's missing one of the doors on the back. but. Uh, I sort of saw it sitting there chilling and I sort of picked it up and felt there was a bit of weight behind it. And uh, these figures are in there. Uh, these wrestlers, we've got The Undertaker here, we've got Drew McIntyre and Hulk Hogan. Now, normally, not too bothered, but I sort of saw that it had all these accessories in a bag here. And I just thought, if they're going to come with all these accessories, these have got to be 
elites so I thought you know what these are hidden in there lady gave us a cracking deal on the set so we've got obviously some elites here you've got all Hulk Hogan's attachments here a few little bits like this which I'm not too sure goes with the bus I don't know if that goes with the bus as well it looks like it should but yeah we've got some heads in there it looks like we've got a um, Steve McMahon head in there and a, another head for Hogan and maybe some uh, black hands there that might go with either Drew or go with the Undertaker so proper happy with that so yeah nice little this is a spread of haul over three booties uh, I could have obviously bought a lot more like I said but obviously pricing wasn't exactly that car boot friendly but on the upside the guy who's selling the Power Rangers the guy who's selling the Funko Pops all giving me cards and details so hopefully in the future I can do some more business with them guys thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and all that stuff channel is coming across very very nicely again i keep saying that i'm really really trying to push if hit over that 5000 i'm just hoping that we can have a nice little push and get closer to that 6000 by the end of the year so if you haven't subscribed please do so now we do appreciate every single one of you i'm not too sure when i'm going to get a chance to edit this and have it out so hopefully i will get it out before this weekend because on saturday the 29th me dan tom out of the attic matt we're joining up with johnny monkeys emporium and vic fistful of collectibles we're going to be in camden we're going to be in camden having a mini toy fair right in the middle we're going to be market sellers at camden can't wait when are you going to get a chance to say you've uh, had a market stall at Camden at the London's famous market? So super stoked with that and hopefully, from what I've seen on the weather, the weather's going to be perfect. So super stoked that's going to be happening. Anyway guys, take it easy, have a great week and I will see you very, very soon for some more toy hunting. Peace.